All right, so the last few videos, we talked about your daily goals and prayers and dreams and writing them down and knowing how to get in, in tune with God for your life so that you can walk out those goals, the businesses that you have, even in your personal life. So I'm gonna show you an example of what it is like to pray. Now, I'm not saying I'm the best prayer warrior in the world, but I am a prayer warrior, I am an intercessor, and I do believe that I get my prayers answered. I know I do, and I definitely see other people's prayers get answered when I pray for them. Not because of me, but in spite of me, because my heart is truly sincere to the Lord for that person. And I just believe that prayer becomes natural for me because I started off with these 911 prayers. Um, growing up, just so many challenges, so many things. So I literally prayed every day. I'm a talker. So what we're gonna talk about in this quick session here is prayer how to pray, what you should be saying when you're praying so that you can hear from God and the Holy Spirit can speak to your heart about the daily prayers that you set and those dreams and goals of the dream and goal book I was telling you about that you have and that you write down. So I'm just going to use this as an example, but I'm really truly praying for you but it's only going to be short. So the first thing you want to do is you want to give God thanks. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus talks about this when he teaches his, the 12 disciples, those 12 guys that were following Jesus, how to pray. He says you enter with thanksgiving, right? So the thanksgiving is showing a heart of gratitude. You're showing God that you acknowledge the great things that he has done for you or the great things that he has allowed because he's just so great. So that's the first thing is, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for every business owner, oh God. I thank you, Father God, for each person that will listen and watch this YouTube channel, God. Thank you for their health, oh God. Thank you for their creativity, oh God. Thank you for their yes, oh God, to business. So that's the first thing you want to do is you want to give God thanksgiving when you wake up in the morning. Thank you for my health. Thank you for my food. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my pets. Thank you for my kids. Thank you for my spouse or thank you for the spouse that's coming. Thank you for the children that are yet to be born. Yes, I do pray for my unborn children. All right, then the next thing you want to do after you've given him thanksgiving, then you definitely want to go into repentance. You want to repent for things that you may have done um, that you're not even aware of. Sometimes there's things in our heart. So let me show you what that looks like. So Father God, I ask that for those business owners that are watching this YouTube channel, God, that I've thanked you for, that God, you, you give them a supple heart. Give them a heart of repentance in areas where they're not operating in the full capacity that you would have them to operate in. If they're struggling in integrity, God, I ask that you forgive them. If they're struggling in their love walk, God, I ask that you forgive them, oh God. If they're struggling, Lord God, in their devotion to you, I ask that you forgive them, oh God. If it's an area where they have a love for man and money, God, and they don't understand the things of money and they put them before you, forgive them, oh God. Give them a heart for change, God, to desire you to seek the kingdom first. All right, so that's what that looks like, right? So that is the prayer of repentance. So ask them to forgive you, forgive you for getting mad at the person in the drive-thru, for getting mad um, for things that may have happened. Even if you lost a loved one, a lot of times people get angry at God. You have to repent even in that. Um, there are just different things that we just want to make sure our conscience is clear of, okay? So that's the second thing. So then once you've given Thanksgiving and you have uh, repented, then the next thing that you want to do is that's when you want to begin to uh, begin to ask the Father for the things that you need. And it doesn't have to be all this drama articulation like people make it, but it can't be anything crazy. It has to be in alignment with God's word. And how will you know that? That is going to be by you spending time with God and being in his word. But if you are not quite there yet, you haven't spent a lot of time, then let me just give you an example of what that could look like. So Father God, I ask you to begin to show me your will for my life, oh God. Show me what it is, oh God. God, show those business owners the will that you have for them in business, oh God, and the will that you have for them in their lives, oh God. Let them stay on the right path, oh God, that they don't get off of course, oh God. Don't allow them, oh God, to uh, follow the things of this world, oh God, that will take them 
from you, but let them follow the things of the word, oh God. Give them time to get into the word. Show them how to create their day so that they put space in there for you first and then all the other things will follow, oh God. That they make time for you as you've made time for them, right? So that's my prayer. Your prayer may be, you know, God, again, show me um, what it is that you want me to do in business. Show me, God, what it is that you want me to do as it relates to uh, the kingdom, as it relates to things that will uh, bring righteous standpoint in the earth. Things, excuse me, that will um, create um a desire for you in the earth through my business. So that's some things that you want to pray. Help me, oh God, to know how to write daily what it is that you're saying, to dream, dream beyond where I am, beyond me, but to dream on a level of where I know you can do it. Give me the faith, oh God. So that's the other thing you're going to definitely be praying for is faith. All right, this video is getting long and I don't want to bore you, but those are some things that you've got to start doing is you got to start praying okay so once you start praying the dreams and goals and the visions god has for you is going to open up and you're going to see them and you're going to be well on your way we got one more video and we'll be done all right